comes about by association, a wall of word, which simply means to believe in yourself, held a press conference at YMCA in Carnifin, raising concern over the new increment of Nawex tariff. This association believes that citizens of the Gambia are not enjoying a stable electricity and universal access to water as promised by the Baru government before coming into power. The association came with a campaign statement, the Fadoi, meaning enough is enough. Ali Cham, the president of the association, said, Gomsabob Association is making plans on how they will have a dialogue with the relevant authorities about Nowak's new tariff and as well make them understand that what they are doing is the concern of Gambians. Please, that's the concerns of the Gambian people because they can be the formality. Now, what are you this tariff on top of the Gambian people? Then I'm going to meet the Lord Dekabi. And the flow of the ripple effect crime, burglary, robbery, drugs it's a chain walk. And as concerned citizens, we want to see the advancement of the Gambia. We expect authorities to engage us in the dialogue that we are willing to have with them because of the Gambian people then sona. We said it's about time that the Yaga nanyo what the Fadoi why this time we really mean it because of we cannot continue year after year like this. And in a new democracy, then again what I remember, we were promised this from coalition B. It's in the manifesto that they will provide access to electricity and water to Gambians. That was a promise, a campaign promise. Today we are still in the same situation. He urged Gambians to understand and support them as they will go to communities to engage and sensitize the people with the language they understand because they don't want to leave anyone behind. Yusuf Telo, the spokesperson of the association, laments that Pira has shown no interest in addressing Nawak's poor standard of service delivery, which continues to cost Gambians millions of dollars in loan and bill. Pira failed to ensure that Nawak consulted the Gambian people sufficiently on their extortionate tariff increase as required by Section 34, Subsection 2B of the Pura Act 2001, mandating them to conduct research, including seeking the opinions of consumers of the service before approving any increases, instead of focusing on improving the quality and standard of these basic services required for our survival. Nawek has decided to increase the prices of electricity, 37%, and water, 20% in the country, making the Gambia the fifth most expensive country to purchase electricity in West Africa. Alpha Umar Jalo, president of the Consumer Protection Consortium, said, this is not about politics, but an issue affecting everybody in the country. We are not here to sensationalize anything. It is just to be real and know that this is an issue which is affecting everybody in this country. Whether you are a minister, whether you are a permanent secretary, whether you are, you know, member of, you know, the civil service, or whether you are in the informal sector, it is affecting the business sector, mm -hmm. it is affecting the tourism sector, mm -hmm. it is affecting every aspect of our economy, socio-economic development. Mm -hmm. So this is a concern, mm -hmm. and it should be a general concern for all Gambians. Mm -hmm. So I applaud Team Gomsa Bopa for coming up. These are the sorts of associations and pressure groups that we are looking forward to seeing. National Water and Electricity Company Limited, NAWEC, is engaged in the provision of electricity, water and sewage service for domestic, public and industrial purpose. The said company is the only company responsible for water and electricity supply in the Gambia. The increment of their new tariff is a worry to the citizens and is unacceptable as indicated by Komsabopa Association. Reporting for N24 TV, I am Fatou B. Kamara.